Hi students, a warm good morning to all. So today uh, we will be discussing the topic uh, expressing the concentration of the solution. In that the second term that is the normality. Okay. So in the initial class we were discussing what is called molarity. Hope you remember it. Now coming to normality here first of all I will define it. So what is normality means it is the number of gram equivalents of the solute present in one liter of the solution. So what was molarity actually it is the number of moles of the solute present in one liter of the solution. So what is the only difference that has happened here comparing to molarity only here instead of number of moles here a new term called number of gram equivalents. Okay, so we should understand what is number of gram equivalents that I will discuss in detail. So we will see. So the definition is nothing but it is the number of gram equivalents of the solute present in one liter of the solution. Please remember again here it is solution and solute. Okay, now if you see here normality represented by the letter capital N which is equal to number of gram equivalents of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liters. Okay. Now if you see I can still write what is number of gram equivalents. What do you mean by gram equivalents? So very simple what is number of moles? We can say number of moles is nothing but weight in gram by molecular mass correct weight in gram of the solute divided by molecular mass of the solute now coming to gram equivalence it is the same thing only thing is weight in gram of the solute divided by instead of molecular mass what will come here equivalent mass of the solute okay so here a question comes molecular mass it is very easy to find for example you have sodium chloride how to find the molecular mass you can easily find sodium is 23 the mass chlorine is 35.5 so you can simply add the atoms weight you will get the molecular mass but how to find the equivalent mass so if you are able to find the equivalent mass of anything any solute then only you will be able to find out what normality because there the number of gram equivalents is nothing but weight in gram by equivalent mass so if you know the equivalent mass you could find the number of gram equivalents then you could find the normality and here divided by volume of solution in liters so unit will be gram equivalents per liter correct so next we will try to understand what is equivalent mass and how to find the equivalent mass of various uh, stuff for example an element it can be an acid it can be a base or it can be an ion or anything if they have given you should be able to find the equivalent mass then it is very easy to find what normality okay so hope you understood what is normality means so next we will try to understand what is equivalent mass then we will do some examples so we will discuss here what is equivalent mass so i am not going into the definition of equivalent mass that i will take it anyway but right now we will go through the various formulas to find out the equivalent mass of various substances so first thing i am going to discuss how to find the equivalent mass of an element if it is given okay so general formula is equivalent mass of an element will be equal to atomic mass of the element divided by valency factor so we will uh, go through the examples then it is easy to understand so if i am taking example as oxygen so if i am taking oxygen now tell me what will be its equivalent mass so you can tell equivalent mass of oxygen so eq mass eq mass equivalent mass of oxygen will be equal to atomic mass is how much oxygen it is 16 so atomic mass is easy to remember now valency factor what is the valency of oxygen so we know oxygen O has a config atomic number 8 so its electronic configuration will be 2 comma 6 now the valency will be here equal to how many more electrons are required to complete the octet two more electrons are required correct so we can say the valency is valency is equal to 2 understood so we can take that 2 and substitute over here as the valency factor so you will get the equivalent mass of oxygen is equal to how much 8 hope you understood now we will take another example so that it will become clear for you more okay so I will take equivalent mass of chlorine 
equivalent mass of chlorine if I want to find out. Okay. So here I am rubbing this. Again I am taking here chlorine. Now for chlorine what is the atomic mass? For chlorine the atomic mass is 35.5. Okay. So I can substitute that 35.5. Now next thing to substitute is my valency factor. So valency factor how I can find out chlorine the atomic number is 17 I know so its electronic configuration will be 2 comma 8 comma 7 now tell me how much more electrons are required to complete the octet one more electron is required hope you know so I can say its valency factor its valency valency is equal to 1 so I can put that one over here so my equivalent mass will become 35.5 or we can say for chlorine the atomic mass as well as the equivalent mass are same okay now now similarly so the equivalent mass of sulfur you can take it out so how to find the equivalent mass of sulfur equivalent mass of sulfur okay so sulfur what is the atomic mass first of all so i know its atomic number is 16 so its mass is around 32 so 32 now i want to find out the valency factor so let me write the sulfur its atomic number is 16 so i can write 2 comma 8 comma 6 so how many more electrons are required to complete the octet two more electrons so i can say its valency its valency is 2 so i can substitute 2 over here so i can say the equivalent mass of sulfur is nothing but 16 okay so i hope you understood how to find the equivalent mass of a element okay next we will see how to find the equivalent mass of another thing for example an acid or a base okay next we will try to see what is the equivalent mass of an acid okay so for to find the equivalent mass of an acid the basic formula is its molecular mass or molecular weight divided by its basicity so here a new term called basicity is coming into picture so what is basically basicity means i can say basicity is defined as the number of donatable h plus in a particular acid so if a compound is able to donate 2 h plus then i can say the basicity of that particular acid is 2 now uh, okay one important thing regarding this is suppose they will give some chemical formula from the chemical formula alone we won't be able to understand the number of replaceable hydrogen there are certain examples like that so you need to understand the structure and from that only you should be able to understand okay these are the two replaceable hydrogens or one replaceable hydrogen then only you will be, you will be able to understand exactly how many h plus the particular acid can donate so we know acid is somebody who is capable of donating h plus ion okay so we will go through the examples then you will understand it more clearly okay so example one we can say equivalent mass of equivalent mass of sulfuric acid okay h2so4 okay so sulfuric acid what is the molecular weight of sulfuric acid sulfur the mass is 32 16 into 4 oxygen 16 16 into 4 64 64 plus 32 96 plus 2 98 so I can say the molecular weight is 98. Now the next question is basicity. So how many H plus H2SO4 can donate? We know 1 H plus and another H plus. So after giving 1 H plus it becomes HSO4 minus. Again it can donate one more. Then it becomes SO4 2 minus sulfate ion. Correct. So it can donate 2 H plus. So the basicity is 2. Okay. So what is the equivalent mass of sulfuric acid? It will become 49 okay so similarly i can take another example something like hydrochloric acid hcl okay so if i am taking hcl now tell me what is the molecular weight of hcl 
chlorine 35.5 and hydrogen 1 unit so you can get 36.5 so you will get 36.5 as the molecular weight divided by number of h plus it can donate we know h plus and cl minus only one h plus it can donate so my basicity value is one so my equivalent mass as well as the molecular weight of sulfuric acid remains the same okay so i hope you understood what how to find the equivalent mass of an acid next we will discuss what is the equivalent mass of a base okay so please understand now the equivalent mass of a base base this formula is molecular weight divided by acidity for example acidity here means for a base we know what is basically a base somebody who is capable of donating the electrons or OH minus so here acidity means the number of donatable OH minus ion in a particular compound okay now we will try to calculate the equivalent mass of some bases so that you will get a fair idea example one so if i am taking equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide in NaOH okay so we know what is the molecular weight it's it's molecular weight how you can find out we know sodium the mass is 23 plus oxygen the mass is 16 plus 1 correct now what is the acidity number of OH minus it can donate we know it will dissociate as Na plus and OH minus so there is only one OH minus it can donate so my basis so my acidity value is 1 so I can say 23 plus 16 is 33 plus 39 plus 1 40 so 40 is the molecular weight as well as the equivalent weight of or equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide now we will calculate one more thing we will calculate magnesium hydroxide so suppose if it is magnesium hydroxide we know magnesium the valency is 2 so surely OH will become we know the valency of magnesium will be written here and OH has a valency 1 that will be written here okay so that's why magnesium hydroxide MgOH twice it is coming okay now how to do that similarly we can do it magnesium what is the atomic mass magnesium atomic number is 12 so its mass is 24 so 24 i can write okay plus now we know oh oxygen 16 hydrogen 117 so 17 how many times it is coming two times it is coming so i can write 17 into 2 now very important thing what is the acidity how many OH minus ions it can donate we know it will how it will get dissociated so it will get dissociated as mg2 plus since there is only one ion it will be there will be only one mg2 plus okay now OH minus how many are there two are there so I can write it as 2 OH now what is the valency of OH we know it's this is the valency so you can write OH minus 1 so it is also neutral so total charge here is 2 plus and total charge here is minus 1 into 2 so again minus 2 so this will become 0 so this is how you can easily dissociate and write it so how many OH minus ions are here present so you could find two OH minus ions are there so my acidity is 2 so I can say 24 17 into 2 how much 34 so 34 plus 20 44 44 54 plus 4 58 so 58 will come here divided by 2 I can say 29 so 29 is my equivalent mass of magnesium hydroxide so I hope you understood how to find the equivalent mass of a base now next we will try to understand how to find the equivalent mass of ions now now next we need to find out the equivalent mass of ions so whenever ions are coming we instead of saying atomic weight or we say molecular instead of molecular weight or atomic weight we use the term formula weight okay that's a term for specifically for ions but still the mass remains the same divided by valency okay now if you want to find the equivalent weight of some ions we will try to do it then you will get a fair idea so example 
so equivalent mass of equivalent mass of something like cl minus ion cl minus ion so how you can do that what is the formula weight you know there is no mass for charge minus so only chlorine we will take so chlorine what is the mass 35.5 so i can say 35.5 is the mass okay now again what is the valency of the chlorine we know it is again one so i can say the equivalent weight of cl minus ion is 35.5 so i hope you understood okay now we can also calculate it for another example i can take equivalent weight of something like um, mg2 plus ion mg2 plus ion okay mg2 plus ion now how, what is will be the formula weight of magnesium again magnesium we know 12 it will become atomic number is 12 so atomic mass is it's 24 so its formula weight is 24 divided by the valency valency of magnesium we know 12 2 comma 8 comma 2 so its valency is 2 so we can substitute 2 and we will get a value 12 as the form as the equivalent weight of the mg2 plus ion so i hope this is clear for you next we will go through the next formula that is the equivalent mass of ionic compound there will be more than one ions combined to form an ionic compound that we will discuss so uh, i hope you could see the formula the equivalent mass of ionic compound how to do that you need to sum it actually we know that an ionic compound is made up of cation and anion so we can say if you sum the equivalent mass of cation plus the equivalent mass of the anion you will get the equivalent mass of the ionic compound for example now here also again i can take the example as sulfuric acid h2so4 you know it's an acid but it is also an ionic compound because it can dissociate as what 2h plus and so4 2 minus correct so i know this can dissociate as 2h plus plus so4 2 minus so 2 is coming from here cha valency of so4 so uh, we can write H2SO4 can be dissociated as 2H plus. So here why I am putting plus 1 is for your understanding. Hydrogen has the valency 1 and sulfate ion has the valency 2. So I will write 2H2 are there. So 2H plus 1 for your understanding. And SO4 it is only 1 in nature. Only 1 in nature. And its valency will be 2. So 2 minus I am keeping. Okay. So now for what is the first thing you need to find out equivalent mass of the cation. So how to find the equivalent mass of the cation here. So equivalent mass of the cation equivalent mass of cation is equal to. Okay how to do that you can see 2 H plus so equivalent mass how to find the atomic mass of this one so that we know one divided by valency valency of hydrogen is again one we know so the value will be one okay next the equivalent mass of anion so how you can find that anion what is the mass here sulfur it has a mass of 32 oxygen it has a mass of 16 so 16 into 4 64 will come 64 plus sulfur what is a thing 32 so 64 plus 32 means how much it will come 96 so i can put 96 here okay so 96 i have kept it here now what is the valency of sulfate ion so from this we can identify the sulfate ion has a valency 2 so i can keep it there so what it will become 48 okay so you know h2so4 here hydrogen has the valency 1 okay and sulfate ion so4 has the valency uh, i could use a different color for your understanding so hydrogen has a valency 1 and sulfur ha sulfate ion has a valency 2 generally speaking okay so that is why i have kept 2 here okay 
so hydrogen has a valency one so i kept one here so here it corresponds to the mass of hydrogen that is one and so for mass is kept here i hope you understood okay so now what you need to do you got 1948 so you can put it here if you are adding both 1 plus 48 you are getting 49 so i hope you remember h2so4 we also calculated by other method that is equivalent mass is equal to molecular weight of h2so4 that is 98 divided by basicity how many donatable h plus 2 h plus so 98 by 2 49 or you can use this method to find out as 49 so any method can be used okay so next we will see the equivalent mass of other stuffs okay so next we are going to learn the equivalent mass of a salt okay you know how salt is formed basically acid plus base reaction will result in a salt so if you have a salt how to find the equivalent mass so how to do that again the molecular weight divided by total charge on the cation or anion you can take either of them it's easy so either you take total charge total charge that is very important total charge on the cation or total charge on the anion so we will understand this with an example then it becomes very easy okay so here we could take the example of na2so4 okay so you have na2so4 is there now you know na2so4 is there how it can split or dissociate we can say 2 na plus 2 because 2 na are there so 2 na valency of this one you should take it so plus charge will valency of uh, or number of so4 will come here as charge you can write plus one then now so4 how many so4 units are there only one so i can write so4 and its valency is here two so i can write so4 two minus okay now you should understand what is the molecular weight of na2so4 how you can calculate that so molecular weight of na2so4 is 2 into 23 plus what I can write sulfur 32 plus 16 into 4 64 this is my molecular weight okay now this should can be this can now you can find it in two methods either I could take the total charge on the cation so if I take total charge on the cation how much it will come so I have 2 Na plus so I can write, write it like Na plus plus Na plus so my total charge is plus one plus 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 one and again one more plus one so it will become two correct or suppose if i am taking anion then what will happen the only one so4 two minus uh, one so4 is there so the total charge is again two i can write two here so in both ways it is only two so what is the value it is coming here two into 23 how much it will become 46 plus 32 plus 64 you can write 96 divided by 2 so 90 plus 40 is 130 136 plus 6 is 142 so 142 by 2 you will get as 142 by 2 that is 71 okay so i hope you understood how to find the equivalent mass of a salt okay Next, we will try to understand how to find the equivalent mass of an oxidizing or reducing agent. Okay, so we are going to understand what is equivalent mass of an oxidizing agent. Okay, so talking about oxidizing agent, so I should mandatorily I should say about oxidation and reduction. So basically what is oxidation means oxidation is a phenomenon whereby you are oxidizing, introduce oxygen to a compound. That is one definition. There are many definitions are there. Or with respect to uh, oxidation state, I can say during an oxidation, what will happen during an oxidation? Electron will be lost. Okay. So please understand. Oxidation is a phenomenon whereby electrons will be lost. So here we will first understand what is oxidation then only you will get an idea of oxidizing agent okay so i can say an oxidation oxidation is a phenomenon whereby you will introduce oxygen to a compound okay and reduction is a phenomenon thereby you will remove oxygen from a compound so 
then we will understand what is oxidation state so during oxidation for example na is getting converted to na plus okay so here what has happened electron is removed from sodium and it is becoming na plus so i can say sodium underwent oxidation so what happened to oxidation number oxidation number it has changed from 0 to 1 for any element its oxidation number is 0 and you could see it is changed to plus 1 so charge is plus 1 so oxidation number increases during an oxidation process okay and what happens to electron electrons electron got lost okay so this is during oxidation process and who performs an oxidation that guy is called oxidizing agent okay